The problem with heating water with any fire source is regulating the temperature. So anything else, be it gas or electric, there's a thermostat built in so that if it gets too hot, then it, it, you know, it turns the heater off. And the main problem with heating with wood is that there's no regulation. Yes, there are things you can build like bimetallic strips that will actually regulate, but there's nothing that I would consider safe enough. And there's supposed to be something like a stick of gelignite in two pound of water when it gets to the boil. It expands its volume about 1,700 times. So you don't want to be boiling water in a closed container. We have a container with an outlet and we have an inlet. Now, can anyone tell me why the inlet's coming in low? Stratification. Yep. So we're stratifying in that um, if we're taking hot water out of the top of this, then we want to add our cool to the bottom so that we get this idea of stratification where we've got hotter sits at the top and the colder sits at the bottom. So that we'll get longer hot water as the so instead of if it was at the top and it mixed instantly, we would get lukewarm water straight up. This will tend to maintain a heat differential a lot longer. Just imagine a rocket stove below this and it's applying flame and this heats. If it's open, then it boils so we don't get any pressure build up. So no boom, no squish, nobody gets hurt. The next trick most people think about is then let's hook this up to a shower like that and of course we put a tap somewhere in the shower and now we've got a closed system and now if it boils it goes boom so the way around that and it has to be i decided before i did this we have to, to find a way to make it foolproof is what i do is insert a coil of copper pipe a heat exchanger in the system and it comes out there so what we can do then is we have a tap on here, sorry. And then we have, coming off this coil, we have cold water before that tap. So this is cold in, going in. Now what this does then is, this tap isn't open all the time, we just open this tap so that we can fill this tank till water purges out. So when water's running out, we know the system's, the system's fully purged of air, we can now put a tap on here and then go to our shower because now we've got a system that the only pressurised water in the system is actually in the coil. You might ask, well okay, so if the water in the tank boils, then why won't it start the water in the coil boiling and then have you know, steam formation and then bang? Number of reasons. The water in the coil is a much, much smaller volume at any given time, much smaller. So there is that. Plus, it's in a contain it's it's in a shape that is is generally quite strong, pressure-wise because it's circular copper pipe, uh, tubular copper pipe, rather than a a drum which may not take the same sorts of pressure. So there is that, but we're not relying on that because the laws of thermodynamics tell us that um, if you increase the pressure. On, um, if you increase atmospheric pressure, you actually raise the point at which something with boil will boil. Now we know um, pressure cookers work exactly on, on this principle that you put it under pressure and suddenly you can get the water to above 212 and it won't boil. So you might add like 30 degrees on top of your, your boiling point. That's why um, if you took an egg to the top of Mount Everest and boiled it with the water boiling there, but then crack the egg open, the egg would be completely raw because you're not getting up to the temperature. The water boils at a much lower point because there's less, um, there's less atmospheric pressure. With any pressure in this copper pipe at all, you are always um, have a higher boiling point than the water in the tank. There's physically no way you can make it happen. We can have this water boiling away and the water in the coil will not be above its boiling point so it cannot boil if we open the tap and have flow through there then what happens there is we're only dropping down to roughly the same atmospheric pressure so the water doesn't it, it doesn't have time to boil because it's not sitting there when we shut the tap the pressure goes up 
and raises the boiling point of the water in the coil anyway. The transfer of heat through the copper to the water in the coil is always a little bit inefficient. So the water in the coil while it's flowing can never match the temperature of the water in the tank. So there's literally no way that it can go boom. Because we're heating it from the bottom, what's happening is the water in the bottom, so you will tend to probably get something like this, that you'll get heating like this. You'll get a... We've all seen those famous photos of uh, the rolling boil of water in a pot, how it's doing this. You'll tend to get, do that. Of course, once the heat stops, once the stove's turned off, and this is out, the water will tend to stratify quite strongly into, you know, hottest at the top, coldest at the bottom. Like, to be able to put the coil in the top somehow would be extremely difficult. I don't know how you'd do it. You'd have to cut the, the container open. How, how smart can you go with the um, uh, container? And the answer to that is... It depends. It depends. If you're... Uh, so, so as an example, in Australia, I've got a family that this is their sole source of water. It's The system would probably roughly, roughly 50 gallons. And their pattern of usage is that it gets two loads of water through it, uh, two loads of wood through it, which is probably, I'm going to say, between five and eight pound of wood, probably less, 